Now we want to talk about uh, how to find the union of sets. And again, we will use this idea of union of sets to help us solve a compound inequality with the word or in it. So let's go ahead and look at our union of sets here. So again, when you're talking about the union of two sets, you use the U sort of symbol, and you'll have A union B. So you have this U here that you use for your union symbol. And it's defined as, again, we will use our set notation. And the union will have the element X, and X will be an element of set A or X is an element of B. So basically what this tells us is that unlike the intersection uh, of sets in union, if you have an element in one set and it is not in the other set, it's okay, you will still include it in the union of uh, your two sets. So it does not have to be in both the sets. It can be in one and not be in the other. Again, if we look at our uh, Venn diagram, you have your sets A and B. And when you're talking about the intersection of sets, you're basically talking about all the elements in both our sets here. So a union will include all elements from both the sets. So again, let's look at an example uh, to work with the union of sets here. And we'll use the same sets that we used earlier. You have your set A with its six elements, one, two, three, four, five, and six. You have your set B with elements one, three, and five your set C with elements 1 and 6, and our last set D with the element 4. Okay, and we're trying to find the union of A and B. We're trying to find the union of B and D. And we're trying to find the union of C and D. So again, as I said, union is where you take the elements from both the sets and put them all together. So if you look at the union of A and B, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 3, 5. Now, of course, you can see 1, 3, and 5 are common between both our sets. You don't have to write them twice. You just have to write them once. So when you talk about <coughs> the element of, uh, the, I'm sorry, the union of A and B, that set is similar to what your set A looks like. <coughs> All right, let's talk about the union of sets B and D here. Now, if you look at our set B, we have the elements 1, 3, and 5, and set D has the element 4. So when you take the element of all, uh, both these sets, you will end up with 1, 3, 4, and 5 as your elements in the union. And there you have it. You take all the elements from both the sets and put them together. You'll do the exact same thing with the union of set C and D. Set C is 1 and 6, and D is 4. So when you put these together, you'll end up with 1, 4, and 6. And there you have it. That's the union of our two sets.